Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, thank you for choosing to uh, view this video. This is the uh, Bridge Design Trust Bridge Design Project. My name is Mario Fuganet. I'm the Deputy Engineering Division Chief. And I am Jim DeGraff, and I work as a construction representative out on the uh, construction sites. So we, we're both here tied to a lot of the construction work and design work that's going on here on Camp Humphreys and another uh, basis through our career. But we want to take uh, a few minutes to explain to you a little bit about what this project is going to entail. Uh, this is a bridge, a truss bridge. And we've got a model here to show you more or less what you have to build. Uh, when you look at a bridge, uh, it has different components. Uh, you have load bearing components like the lateral trusses in here. And then you have a truss that helps you uh, support load. Uh, when you put weight on top of the bridge, it's going to deflect. So the components right here will be under tension and some of the other components will be under compression. So there's a balance between tension and compression that you have to think about. Uh, this is a fun little thing. You can do it at home uh, with just simple uh, uh, supplies. And Jim is going to go over some of the supplies that it will require you to get uh, right from the exchange. So you can see we have the uh, regular glue that the kids are all familiar with in school. We got the uh, popsicle sticks. These uh, come in a package like this. You can pick these up at the commissar or at the PX. And um, then you just put these together. And I encourage you all to be inventive. You know, uh, come up with different designs and, and you know, bridges go over uh, obstacles like um, rivers and gorges and things of that nature. Um, I know some of you, your parents are probably uh, uh, combat engineers and that's what they do for one of their jobs for their living. So I encourage you to have fun with it and um, be inventive. That's right. Uh, this is a great opportunity to work with your parents and to be really creative on how you put this together. Uh, would, would require you to just think a little bit about what you want to put together, but don't kill yourself with it. You know, just have fun with it. Uh, the ultimate idea is that you have some kind of structure that you can uh, take it to what we call the load testing, right? So, you know, spend some time putting it together. And the next step is to actually test your, your bridge, all right? Uh, and what you're going to do is you're going to take a, a bolt like this, and you're going to try to find the middle of your bridge and put the bolt across of it. And then using a string or something, you're going to hang a load uh, just below the deck. And you're going to add weight uh, to, that, to the bridge until it fails. So you'll see exactly how much weight your bridge is able to support. So um, think about how you're going to be able to do that. It shouldn't be that difficult. Uh, I think it's a fun experience between you and your parents uh, to come up with a way to do that. Um, I, I gave you uh, a few pictures of ideas of how to configure the load testing, but it really only takes just, a, like I said, a ball, some string, and then some weights. It could be rocks that you have just outside your house and utilize that as your load, and then just take it all the way to failure. Uh, just trying to see how much uh, your bridge can take. So that ought to be very fun. Uh, Part of uh, the do outs for you is to either record yourself doing some of the steps uh, or take photographs and report back to us, you know, some of your um, approach. Uh, what are the strategies that you wanted to implement in your design? Uh, you want to include, uh, you know, what was that ultimate load that it took to, to fail your bridge and then send that, us, send that on to us. I don't think you're going to need more, uh, Jim, more than it like half a bag or of sticks. Uh, so it really is not um, that much you need. So if you want to go to the exchange to pick that up, it's about like $2 or something like that. It's like 99 cents. It's really affordable. For the arts and crafts section. And the glue, it's like uh, just a regular Elmer's glue. It's, it's like another dollar fifty or something like that. So you should have to spend more than $5 to get that stuff. And then some of the tools that you might have at home can help you do the low test. Um, so, and Jim actually has one here that he put together this weekend. Uh, you utilize some clips to put it over your joints. That can help put uh, some pressure where you put, apply the glue and get a good bind, uh, bond, I'm sorry, on your sticks. 
So uh, that's a couple of ideas. Uh, there's a lot of good resources in the internet if you need some help. But I'd like to see your creativity, like Jim said. Okay, um, we're here to help you. Uh, our email addresses are available with the uh, uh, project. So feel free to contact us if you, if you need some help or if you want some ideas. Uh, but I, I, I think that uh, there's plenty of resources there for you to just be creative and, and have a lot of fun with this. Uh, so th thank you for doing this. Um, uh, let us know if we can help you. And um, we're looking forward to seeing the results of your projects. Sounds good. Okay.